Welcome to Charts Today, my name is David Linton and today's edition for Friday the 28th of September comes to you from London and the dollar just pushing higher still so we've talked about this dollar strength, we've seen it in the medium term chart and it's now coming back and uh, we're, we're not hitting the highs we saw in August but we are still maintaining the bullish stance and we're moving higher still this week, uh, Federal Reserve uh, rate rise has helped of course. Looking at the euro sinking lower against the dollar, uh, so still medium term bearish and short term bearish there as well. Against the Japanese yen, dollar pushing ever higher and this long term chart really being a lead indicator for dollar strength. So we are just seeing that dollar strength uh, kicking through. Sterling lower this morning against the dollar, back below 131 uh, and still short and medium term bearish. There's a downside target there at 126. Uh, seeing the uh, sterling euro chart, sterling actually looking stronger against the euro short term, but bearish medium and long term still. Against the Swissy, uh, sterling looking pretty strong and against the Aussie uh, dollar just starting to weaken there. Bitcoin uh, is actually up over 1% this morning, so kicking into short-term bullish. We've got an upside target to 7,200. Uh, it's about 7% 7 higher. It'll be interesting to see whether Bitcoin can actually start some form of turnaround. Uh, looking at uh, the US market, uh, it was up uh, uh, over a quarter percent on the S&P last night. Uh, the Nasdaq uh, was also stronger, up 1%. And looking at uh, the Dow, we're just seeing uh, Dow struggling uh, uh, compared to the other indices. <clears throat> and the Russell 2000 index also just struggled yesterday as well. The future this morning down slightly on the uh, S&P uh, and on the Nasdaq e-mini were also down um, just 0.1%. So a bit hard to call which way the US market will open but looks like slightly lower. The UK market down slightly this morning. We are seeing um, some some quite big moves in the UK. Just looking at uh, the big the biggest one being um, Royal Southern Alliance down eight percent, taking that uh, stock just to below the cloud. So looking a little bit more bearish there. Downside targets of some nine percent, uh, falling on weaker results this morning. So that's quite interesting as well. <coughs> um, looking at the mid caps in the UK, we see here um, that uh, the 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 two fifty. Um, is just uh, struggling a little bit as well and uh, still bearish on the short term chart. The DAX actually uh, down quite substantially this morning, uh, just struggling really on that medium term chart, still holding the bullish position on the short term, but European markets still looking pretty subdued. The CAC current also down uh, significantly as well. <coughs> The Japanese market was up very sharply last night, um, taking us to uh, new new levels. Uh, this is on the 400 index. The Nikkei was actually making new highs. Uh, looking at the Hang Seng, um, <coughs> we see here where um, uh, uh, up on the uh, day, but not very much, and uh, still medium term bearish. Shanghai market was actually looking a bit stronger, um, but uh, still medium term bearish and of course the long term chart very bearish. Just really finding support around this level and if we break this support level then um, that's very worrying for the, the Shanghai market. <coughs> India was actually up slightly, but still bearish on that short-term chart. The Australian market just holding uh, some gains there, up nearly half a percent. Brent crude just coming back below the $82 level this morning, but holding on to uh, around this level, still looking very bullish. And WTI um, also just pausing for breath after a very strong week. US nat gas back above the $3 level, so $3.04, so pushing higher there. Gold fell quite sharply yesterday, uh, so we are sitting at 11.82 this morning, taking us to bearish on all three time frames. And silver, much the same position there as well. US 10-year yields sitting at 3.05%, uh, so bearish on the short term, having uh, pulled back from over 3.1% in the week uh, on Federal Reserve announcements. And that means that bond prices in Europe recovering somewhat. We're seeing the German bond up a little bit this, this morning. Uh, Apple... We're seeing uh, Apple shares uh, holding on to quite strong gains yesterday, about 2% up. So it was one of the best performers in the NASDAQ. And looking at Amazon also pushing higher, 
Google uh, wasn't such a strong performer, but still looking bullish now on all three time frames. Facebook actually back into the high 160s, so looking much better than it has done. That 160 level very critical now for Facebook. And Microsoft also looking strong, strong still at 114. In the news was Tesla. Uh, and after, in after hours trading, we were at uh, two. $270, which is taking us back to about here, so that would put us bearish on all three time frames. Of course, 250 is the critical level for Tesla, so that's the level to watch if you are watching Tesla shares. That's it for today. Until Monday, have a great weekend. Happy charting. See you.